Hello everybody, it's Tammy, and thank you for joining me today in my creative corner of the world here at Creative Girl Vintage. Today's video was inspired by one of my subscribers, her name is Shirley, and she reached out to me and asked me if I was going to make any Christmas. And she said, I know it's early, and she told me she does fall and Christmas shows, and it got me thinking. Um, I used to do a lot of shows, and I used to do the fall and, and winter Christmas shows as well. And not only were they my favorites, but they were always my most successful. So in order, you know, to get from point A to point B, we have to be like getting our ducks in a row, be thinking about, you know, what are we going to be putting together this year for our shows or our online selling for the holidays and also building up our inventories. So in today's video, I thought I would throw together a vintage assemblage for you, showing you how easy it is just to use a plain block of wood to make some really cute holiday assemblages using your vintage pieces or even other things that you may have collected. And um, stick around to the end because I did a compilation as well of a lot of these pieces that I have made in the past and they're bound to give you a lot of ideas. So hey, you know, there's there's no time like the present really. Um, I have a little thing on my crafting table that says the best way to get things done is simply to begin. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's do some Christmas holiday vintage assemblages. All right, I have to say, you guys, doing these little wood blocks through the years have really been some of my greatest hits. There, it, it's just easy to, you know, transform a piece of wood into so many wonderful little assemblages. Here's what I like. This is a piece of one and a half by one and a half by one and a half block. I get this at Home Depot. This is like a four foot long piece and I have power tools. So I cut it like in three inch blocks, sand it a little bit and smooth it. Now, if you don't have power tools, here's another option. These are one and a half inch wood blocks. And what I will do here is a little bit of heavy white glue, if you don't have wood glue, does the trick. You know, don't get real thick with your glue. Just push them together here with some glue. Maybe take a little painter's tape and put it over the top like so, and that will hold everything together while it's drying. Just make sure you're just like, you kind of, you know, get it together really good where everything is like smooth and even, and let that dry. And this will this will get the job done right here. So you've got kind of basically the same thing that you're putting together with those wooden blocks. I'll link those below for you. So next step is um, just grab whatever color paint you want. I did this with some of my chalk paints. You can use your acrylic, whatever you got. And um, I'll paint all sides except one, the color of my choice. And I always leave one side to do in a white or a neutral, a cream color, just so I have a real neutral base right on that one side, which is always going to be my front. And so Speaking of the front, I'm going to decide what's going to go on here by what the theme of my block is going to be. So in this case, I have got this little guy. He's, he's kind of, he's got some paint missing, but he still has some life left in him. We're going to use him today. I'm going to use a little bit of tinsel garland on the top as well. I've got these, look at these vintage plastic poinsettias. I just love these. I thought that would be sweet tucked in there. And so you can see where this is going. So I'm going to decide right now what I want to do here. One of my favorite things to do, this is one of my vintage Christmas card stacks here. These are kind of my ratty cards that I cut pictures out of, cut sayings out of. And out of this card here, I cut out inside it looked like it was done in um, old cross stitch it says christmas greetings and may the new year be a happy one so i basically cut that out and i'm going to glue that right on the front and you can see a lot of reason i will do the white or the cream paint is because sometimes you might might want to make this a little smaller and then you have like a nice finish behind it at all times and things won't show through you know if you've got something kind of transparent it won't show through to just that plain wood um, what I'll do, like, let me just grab a little card here. I'll go through my cards and 
kind of take the size of the wood I'm using, and this says, may the happiness of Christmas be yours, and lay that on there. And that's gonna cover all the words and fit on there nicely. Um, just grab my pencil, trace around it, cut it out, and end up with something like this. Now you don't have to go the Christmas card route. I do a lot of other things. This is my, um, call it my pandemic impulse buying Christmas stamps. Um, but I'm happy I got them because I really use them a lot. So like this one here, for example, uh, Christmas blessings. I would probably stamp that on maybe right there. And this was a trim I found at the flea market. Isn't that something? And maybe lay that like there, some little rickrack or pom-poms. So there's the whole rubber stamp thing on the front, which I've used a lot. And um, other times I have also used my favorite, my alphabet interlocking stamps, and I'll spell out whatever I want for whatever I, a custom saying that I want to put on this. So as you can see, there's a lot of options. And uh, let's go ahead and put this guy on here. And I'm just gonna be using my Mod Podge. Just go over the top, like so, and an even coat. And add on my little greeting here from a vintage Christmas card. Okay. We'll just let that dry for a sec. All right, this is dry, and a lot of times when I do these um, Christmas cards, I like to go around the edges with my sanding block. It gives it a nice little finished look, almost like it's been painted on there. I think that looks really nice. And plus, if you went over the edges a little bit with your paper, your sanding block will take that little excess paper off. I will grab my Distress Ink at this time and just go around my edges. And I feel this gives it just a beautiful vintage finished look. All right, let's put this one together. All right, we have our little deer here. And I am just going to use my hot glue Pull this out of the way before it all starts crashing to the floor. And I'm just going to put this right on his feet. You know, when summer is here, it's just really easy to be distracted because there's just so much going on. The last thing we're thinking about is the holidays, right? But if we've committed to shows and we want our online shops to be successful, we got to start building our inventory and the best way to do it is to start early and do a little bit at a time. I'm guilty of waiting till the Christmas spirit hits me and uh, I was bring, putting a lot of anxiety on myself trying to, to build up an inventory. This is just the little Christmas tree garland. I'm going to cut off a few snips here. And around my little deer's feet. I'm just gonna take these and just tuck them in. It's gonna cover any of that excess glue around his little hooves there. Yeah, you can definitely racing to get an inventory for a show will bring on the anxiety for sure. use as much or as little of this as you want in any color just gives a really sweet look trim it up if you need to okay then I have I love this this is just that vintage plastic poinsettia so cute I was thinking that might look pretty maybe right there I like that right there so I'm just gonna shoot a bunch of hot glue right in there and add that on Right, like so. Okay. And then, since he kind of, he was a little, little ratty with his paint missing, I've got a really pretty little seam binding bow here in red, and I'm going to put that right there. And 
his neck right there. And look at that, you guys. Now, your customers are going to love this. So, I mean, I could add more poinsettia. I could add glitter. Um, but this is just absolute sweetness here. So let me show you real quick something you can do with just using um, the plain little one and a half by one and a half inch block too. Right, using just that um, one and a half inch block, I've went around and just cut some little pieces of sheet music and just glued them on all the sides. And you can use sheet music, book pages, scrapbook paper, wrapping paper, um, cut out little pieces uh, from Christmas cards, little squares out of Christmas cards. So you can cover your blocks with all sorts of things. I didn't paint this block. I should have probably, but I thought it turned out okay with the wood and go around with my sanding block and smooth the edges of this and the corners and if there's any excess paper I get it get it down and I grab my my ink and ink up ink up the edges on this too I think that makes it look really good now this sheet music had a little opening right here so I thought that would be kind of a good place maybe to rubber stamp something and I decided to go with um, a little snowman theme. So I'm gonna stamp with my interlocking stamps, the word Frosty. Now this is the tiny size of the interlocking stamps. I haven't used them on anything before. These are the medium that I always use. So you can see, you know, there's quite a bit of difference in the size of the letters here. I'll link these little ones for you too. Sometimes you just need smaller letters to get in places. I'm gonna grab, I think my red ink because he's got a little red scarf. I thought that would go good together. And let's see, let's go right here. Frosty, cute. Okay, get on there you. Okay, get that out of the way. And honestly, you guys, this guy, I would put him right on top right here and this tinsel uh, tree garland, this can be a little wild. So as you can see, it kind of has down the center like a little mini garland of its own in there. So I just took my scissors and over my trash can, just did a trim and I got this really pretty smaller little garland and I would wrap that right around like so. I glue all that down and that right there, I think, I think that I would just call that done. That is just really cute, isn't it? Starting with just some simple wood blocks, you can assemble some of the cutest decorations. So I hope that you were inspired today. Um, maybe this is just like a little kickstart to your holiday crafting. Um, even if it just gets us thinking about it, that is a step in the right direction. So Shirley, thank you for that. And, and thank you to all of you for watching today. I have a compilation coming up right now of a lot of these pieces that I've made. So you can, you know, get some ideas off those. If you want to see more Christmas, let me know. And may you be blessed with all the good things. And I will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.